Well, greetings in abundance, everybody. Today is an amazing day. You can see the geese are getting excited there. They're about to get fed. Etan's there loving life in the sunshine now. Lucina's there looking after the geese and the goslings. Loving life. We have just literally finished our absolutely beautiful, beautiful uh, flow hive. Well, guys, let's give you a good, beautiful idea of what has happened here absolute magic and uh literally just finished putting some linseed oil we've used the metal sheeting as a platform over here and uh basically this is the magic that we've been waiting for over here so um this is called the flow hive and it is pretty much um got similar concepts to the the langsworth flow i mean the langsworth hive and this is a standard brood box and it's got 10 frames in it this is where the queen and uh, her hatchlings will be and basically she'll fill up with royal jelly and um, honey and um, pollen and all the other beautiful nectar and bee products and basically she will after those after filling up this box this brood box here uh, this is called the super and as you can see here this is a classic removable very beautiful in its energy so you can take this put it over here and that will be then where we put our little um, down pipe and this is where the nectar will come and fall into your jar so um, basically this is additional honey for the bees for the season and this is anything excess so they produce that uh, they don't require as a hive for um, uh, production and survival so it's really good healthy safe mechanism and and wonderful hive um, that is ethical in in every aspect this uh, this hive has a, a beautiful amount of energy and thought put into it and we most certainly do appreciate getting it it's taken us a number of months and here in south africa we are certainly looking forward to the abundance that we can create with this wonderful flow hive um, just so that you know i think we've got to put a little handle on this one here but nonetheless excuse me um yeah we did that's our beautiful energy there but basically this is where you put your key in and then you twist you twist your key and you crack open so this is the side window so you crack open the beautiful honeycomb there you can get a good look in there so the bees fill up the space um, with honey and then once they fill it up with honey they cap it and once that's capped then you can see that it's full there and back here and then that's when you tap in and get your jar and you don't hurt any of the bees in this process through here we have beautiful air ventilation system and a level to make sure that your level is accurate and that you are giving the bees the necessary landing space that they require and this underneath here is absolutely beautiful. This is a uh, beetle catcher. So of course we know that the bees have natural um, pests and those are the, those little critters, those black beetles. So you put some water in here or some oil and basically um, in the nature of life cycles carry on and then we take those and we feed them out to our chickens out there in our chicken coop so very beautiful design this of course is the entrance for the brood box and the and the hive itself so this is where the bees will land and deliver the honey and the nectar to other nursery bees inside here and take the honey up to fill up the beautiful honeycombs in this entire beautiful flow frame this is tremendous we have an exceptional amount of trees that have been pollinating around us so on and so forth we are only at the beginning of spring and we are certainly looking forward to this beautiful energy we're sitting here right next to our worm bin and under this beautiful tree there's an owl house there so we're definitely looking forward to seeing how this wonderful action uh, comes forth and and letting you guys know exactly how beautiful this hive is and the amount of good quality energy we have spent here in 
uh, manifesting this into our beautiful biochip permaculture site and that's this is exactly where and why these, these beautiful family members decided to call their beautiful flow hive here a flow hive because actually um, when we come into spring and there's lots of flowers this is called the flow because the the nectar flows tremendously um, as we all know therefore you can get more honey uh, and in an ethical way through this flow hive system so in this beautiful abundance that we have to share here the idea of permaculture is that we use permaculture to um, gain more knowledge, gain more plants that are more surviving and thriving throughout different seasons, therefore continuing the flow. Beautiful love, light and abundance. Please like, subscribe, share uh, Biochi Permaculture Farm and flow and continue to uh, enjoy the light of our pages here and uh, enjoy watching what comes forth from this beautiful energy. Much love and light and beautiful energy. Yeehaw, guys. This is magical. We are super excited to be sharing this kind of energy with you guys. And we most certainly look forward to sharing it with you in the future. Keeping you posted and letting you know how we have combined beautiful energies with this wonderful company called Flow Hive Biochi permaculture and flow hive we are very excited to to share some good news and good energy with you and we will continue to do so in the future with this magical abundance here love and light our flow hive and uh, this is the beautiful energy we put this little hive so we're gonna just move her down because we have a little plastic nozzle that fits in there and then it drips the honey down so we got to put this table down so that the jars sit there you can also take this piece out put it over there close it up and voila for now um, this is where you put the key in to open the flow hive. Um, this is a beautiful um, uh, air vent and level over here. And then there's a little tray underneath there for um, catching all of the bugs that uh, infest the beehive. Um, so basically this is the window where we can see the bees do their work and uh, we open it up here and we get a good look in there and we can see what that is and why it works. So we're going to turn the key so that they all align and make the hexo hexagonal shape and then basically from there, um, yeah, I let them start filling. So I'll put that back in there for now. Lucina, what are you doing there? Nuts and bolts. Nuts and bolts with the screws. It's on what are you doing there? I'm busy assembling the roof here, starting out with the screws and everything. So we're just starting out here. Very excited to set up the flow hive under the sun with some fun. Can Check I it out. Also build that kind of stuff? Yes, okay. of course you can. You got one more screw there and then we're done, eh? And then you can come help us. So check it out guys, got all kinds of boards, brood box screws, flow super screws, baseboard screws, many. You got the pest tray, sandpaper to clean it out. You got an instruction manual and then there's our brood boxes there, the infamous beautiful flow hive brood box. Let's get a good look at that guys. Really incredible. Now we can see why we get some honey out of that, right? Beautiful energy. Carpenter's Square. Optional. 
clamps, 41 centimeters and 51 centimeters. Power drill, optional. What you doing there? Twisting, twisting. You twisty, twisting, hey? What are you twisting? You're twisting the flow hive here. Mm -hmm. We've got some legs. Twisting, We're busy twisting. setting up legs. right now. Self-adjusting, tampering legs, beautiful. Twisting. And this is our beautiful twisting. mat. Yeah. Thank you, love. Now we, we're gonna wait to see, see all of those small little holes fits into there. Well guys, that was the last screw on this beautiful flow hive roof. We officially have a roof, the back and the front, as you can see of our wonderful flow hive. Um, very interesting to put together, assemble, and it looks amazing, feels amazing. Really very happy about the product and uh, certainly looking forward to the beautiful energy here at Flow. See where Liza's sitting, we parked ourselves some tins over there because it's cooking here. And guess what we just done? The finish the super. Absolutely amazing here. Get to pull that up and out and view. So very much excited to see that. Don't have caught that on camera. <laughs> and you've got a little window that you can pop open here. Check out your bees. This is a great super. See how far along your honeys are. Hey, nice. so there we go. Wait, wait, wait. Let's put it on the roof. Yes. Let's put the roof on. Just a little show bait. Um. That's the one. Sorry about that. And the one last thing we forgot to mention to you guys is that through here we put how to attract the bees and this is a trick. So if you have any tricks, please share with us. Let us know. Uh, we love hearing everybody's ways of doing things and, and sharing that knowledge. That's what this beautiful awakening is all about. Enjoying the moment and sharing the gnosis. So um, what we did is we took three earbuds you know you can do it with one but we decided three because there was three of us that did it Lucina, Ethan and myself and we took that and put it in a little bank bag and uh, on the earbuds we put a little drop or a couple drops of lemongrass oil essential oil and we popped that in the brood box and now it is all up to us to wait so we'll keep you posted on the next steps Boom.